And you know what? Here's here's something I don't know if you notice because I'm I'm sensing a little tension coming across, and that's okay. That's I'm, cool. I'm sensing the tension starting to diffuse. Starting. Sure. Keep going. It, it, it's fine. You are young. I remember being 24. I remember what it was like being insecure. But the weird thing is, while some at 24 maybe I should have been insecure. I don't know that you should. You're very smart. Everybody in the campaign trusts you and likes you. Uh, not everybody likes. I would say anybody else in the camp, except for Scott. Scott is a saint. Scott's Scott is a saint. saint. Scott is a saint. You might be a you're sub saying, Scott. I would say you're like Scott too. That really it Scott makes me Mark feel really II. good to feel like I'm Scott Mark too. Yeah. Do I come across as insecure? Is that is that what you, is that what you're I would saying? say your frustration that seems to be coming across at me is maybe misdirected. Maybe not. Fine. Fine. But. See, see, to me, what that, that sounds like, like is you misdirecting, like, mm -hmm. what I have presented to you as a legitimate inquiry. Like, I, mm -hmm. as your, like, like part of your team, mm -hmm. have every right to sure. ask of you. Agreed. So that I can know Agreed. whom I'm representing. Mm -hmm. I understand um, that. It would have been nice to have a little bit of a heads up on this. but that's Heads up. That doesn't really work like that. I said, hey, do you want to be in my video? Mm -hmm. We weren't, like, checking in. I know. It's important to check in. Transparency, opacity, both mm -hmm. of them together. Mm -hmm. I like this. I want to keep going with translucency. It. In 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 the spirit of translucency, here's some things I need to know. Mm -hmm. True or false? You plagiarized the LBJ's famous little girl with the flower ad for your own sick mail order bride propaganda. Oh wow, that is an homage. We do not say plagiarize. True that that ad existed. False that I plagiarized it. We do not say plagiarize. That is an homage. What is an homage? An homage is something where you are treating something as uh, culturally valuable, and you are drawing from that culturally valuable thing to make your you're building upon it. Now, in that case, it was for something deplorable, something I'm not Wise. happy with. All the president's wives didn't even get picked up. Now, to be fair, had I become famous off of that or something, I might speak differently. All the president's wives would be a dope movie title, though. Sure. For the record. Sure, and. Uh, that was not our title. I mean, there's another deplorable thing. They stole it from one of the girls in the show. That was her idea for the title. Not her idea. She literally said her, so, fav her favorite presidential movie was All the President's Wives. And we had to explain to her that that's, that's not a movie. That's not a movie. Yeah. So it's not illegal because it's, an, it's not plagiarism. It is an homage. It is an homage. What's the difference between a plagiarism and an homage? Plagiarism would be a direct ripoff. If I was saying I'm LBJ, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, Take the call. You're not morning. saying you're LBJ. Right. LB is saying he's LBJ. Well, without he, the J. Well, I mean, that's just, that's a coincidental initial thing. You're the J. Sure. LBJK. Oof. Nope, 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 nope. Let's disregard that. Where's your light up hashtag? Side note. Yeah. I do appreciate the hashtag light up. It goes really well in my car. Good. Which is also my home at times. Uh, well, question. That should not happen again. You should just stay here so that you have a place until you have a. Uh, I mean, I mean, we're I paying do. you now, right? I, You're getting your checks. We are paying you. I do not recall this being discussed. We did discuss this. You demanded a check. You're one of the first people in the history of the campaign to have to because you are an unpaid intern, but you should be getting maybe getting direct deposit. Now, your generosity is appreciated. Sure. Yet it does not affect. The serious and severity of this inquiry. I understand. I understand. There's more questions. Where were you between 2004 and 2009? Oh, okay. Doing a lot of different things. You talking about the several times the campaign ended? Yeah. Everything seems to happen in 2004 and then 2009 and then 2012. Yeah, well, but the in betweens are not really covered. Well, the in betweens are covered. It's just not clear. Again, if you watch the documentary, some of the subtitles are a little iffy. Like, where the years is happening? Um, Alex came in around 2005, 2006, so the campaign was still going then. Um, 2007, we had some hiccups, and then and then 2009, uh, we came back. 2007 was around the time uh, it, the whole thing crapped out. Two, I spent that time, 2007, 2008, writing my book, uh, finalizing it in book form, and then uh, 2000. That would make sense because that doesn't happen yeah. overnight. Yeah. Right, exactly. And then 2009, the campaign. I finally invite everybody And that's back. where you have the book mm -hmm. at that point. Mm -hmm. Should I read the book? Is it any good? I would consider the movie the film adaptation of the book. So I was thinking that. Yeah. Like, I've already seen the movie. Mm -hmm. It's like I've got all the best bits yep. of the book. Yep. That's cool. How about this? 2012 to 2016. Mm -hmm. Not a peep from JK 2020 and 2016, yep. respectively. Right. Well, the campaign was technically still going. 
but there was no election season, so they weren't really covering us. We weren't even covering us because there wasn't enough happening. I mean, are they covering you now? We are trying to get them to. We're covering ourselves. Transparency. That's a good point. Translucent. That is. That is. I cannot argue with that. Are you still in touch with Misty Goldberg, the Jewish porn star? <sighs> okay. Well, she. She. Well. No. Good. No. None good. of the, none of those women. Good. Most of those women, I'm not in touch with anymore. Good. You said most. Yeah. That means there are some. I've spoken with a few of them. Which ones? Uh, there is a librarian named Laura. I recall. Very nice lady. She yeah. just she regularly gives me some information. You know, here's the thing. I don't have a whole lot of time to do a lot of research or reading per se. So it's cool to know a librarian. That's okay because Scott, okay? Scott can vouch for her. So mm -hmm. that's 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 fine. She's the one who keeps advising me to uh, so that I avoid to avoid further problems like all the president's wives to again fake the the wedding ring thing. So that's all her idea. So you just act like you're married. Oh, yeah. yeah. And nobody asks you about it. Oddly enough, they I think they still assume I'm married to that Jessica girl. It's Which is not true. No, no, no. Yeah, you don't correct people on it. No, because it's easier. Yeah, 100% easier. If it's easier, why not do it? Well. I think that's the old saying. I don't think that's the old saying. Okay. I don't think that's the new saying either. I understand image, but that's sort of a capacity for moral ambiguity that I do not have. I could not simply assume, mm -hmm. represent that I had a wife that I do not have. Sure. I don't think it's anybody's business if I actually am married or not, but why not let them assume? Because there are fewer questions if you're married than there are if you're unmarried. Are you still racist? Was I ever racist? Were you? I don't think so. I don't. I have I, to look at my book, but I don't think so. I have it written down that you could have been, so I thought I would cover that. Where, what happened to your former campaign staff? Like, there were people around all the time, like Cash. Chad's dead. Cash runs a uh, very successful car sales uh, place in Chicago. Why did you pay a bunch of guys to stand around and act like fake bodyguards? Well, they were real bodyguards, they just weren't very good at it. The, the problem is they did not count, none of them had, well, a couple of them had lethal weapons. None of them were prepared to use them in defense of me, uh, which is why we lost so many of them. That's negligence at best. I agree, but I wasn't in charge of them, so it's not my negligence, it's my ignorance. See, this feels like you passing the buck. I understand, but it was my ignorance. I wasn't in control of much. If you watch this See, video, watch how much control LB had over the whole situation. Translucency. I think it's yes. important for you to own up to the portion that was your responsibility. I agree. Good. What happened to LB's hair? Same thing happened to mine. Sooner than mine. Oh! Yeah. yeah. Watch some of those early videos. I got some Bobby Kennedy hair, and I was super proud of it. That was one of the things that made me think maybe I should be president before I ever even decided on the campaign officially. But then I realized, if it would just wait, you got to make sure you have some positions. I realized I did have some positions, wrote them down, pamphlet form. Then I called my friends. We started a campaign. A few people know about that. We haven't talked about it much on that's it. on camera because that's how this whole thing got going. I didn't. No, no, I wouldn't put it that kind way. Kind of. No. No, it was just. It was just a whim that I had, and it's not to say that I didn't think about being president before the hair. It was just like you look at yourself in the mirror, it's like, wow. Oh, I got me. good. I got good presidential you know, just, hair. Yeah, yeah, but it wasn't like, oh, this is my reason for being the president. I had to look at myself and say, hey, do you have anything to offer the country? I immediately realized, yes, I do. So we just went forward from there, and I kept the hair. I mean, why? And you not? stayed forward. Mm -hmm. uh, are you still in the pocket of Phyllis Masters Tobacco? No. Absolutely not. I can say that 100%. I am not in the pocket of those Okay, masters. that's good. That's good. LB worried. is. LB is. Oh, no we shit. We might as well just say it. LB is, absolutely. LB wrote that book about slavery. That yeah. Slavery, what did they do? They harvested cotton and tobacco. Who likes cotton and tobacco? Oh. Phyllis Masters. Yeah. I mean, if we're being translucent wow. here. Yeah, no. Yeah. In the spirit of translucency, are you still in the pocket of Comedy Central? Want to play Corporate Big Shot and pick the next great Comedy Central show? Now's your chance with Comedy Central's Test Pilots. These shows make the short list. Now go to ComedyCentral.com and tell us which Test Pilot is worthy of a development deal. Will this finalist win it all? Is this show headed for the big time? Or will this show download the grand prize? Go to ComedyCentral.com to watch them all now. Just click it, watch it, and vote for it. Show us who makes the decisions around here by casting your vote right now at ComedyCentral.com's Test Pilots. 
Oh, that here's the thing. That just never that fell apart. I was in. Can I tell you something? Sure. I have been so you can't pro- tell me something. You'll see in the movie. I went and did a lot of improv after because I just had a. I was. I have that down. Quor- down. Well, you might call it a quarter life crisis or whatever because I do plan to live to at least 104. Okay, and uh, so. That was part of, that was actually a reaction to the Comedy Central thing, because if you ever watch any of those old promos, there are some real goofy little things, and then there is what I saw, what was truly the promise of me as a presidential candidate, but in my head, secretly, the actor was like, maybe I'll get a show on Comedy Central, you know, a documentary, fine, whatever. But I was in competition with somebody who has become more successful as an actress than I have as president. I mean, I can't be president yet, but you understand what I'm saying. Uh, Kristen, yes. Kristen Schaal was in one of those uh, those promos. Good for her! Yeah, and she, she cool. beat us out. She beat us out. I feel like she had an unfair advantage. In the same way I feel like LB has an unfair advantage right now. And and what is that? More people know who he is and know about what he's done in the world because fewer people are paying attention to me. I feel, it's the same thing, Kristen Schaal. It isn't, isn't that like saying that like I, I can't do good at being popular because... Other people are more, are more popular. popular. Exactly. But like, but did you go out there and did you like make popular happen? I tried real hard. I mean, here's the well, thing. that's something. And when I didn't, I had the intent to. Yeah, that's less of something. Let me ask you this: Did you ever offer offer sympathy to your former campaign manager when his wife went into a coma? Oh, he, she went into a coma long before I met him. But uh, whenever what we if, whenever we talked about it, I would say, "Hey, how's how's she doing? How's Jacqueline?" Is she still in a coma, I would 